Okay, you definitely cock blocked me, yeah. Basically, if you're wondering what I'm doing, there's a Pokemon. Uh, there's a cutie fly that can spawn on Route 4. 5% chance in the tall grass. Seems like 5% uh, is pretty low, though. I got really lucky with uh, Gubbin early. Grubbin early. Which was also a 5%. I got that one in like a minute. Charger Bug can become good. I mean, as much as I have shit on Fallout 76 in the past, and deservedly so, I love Fallout. I really do. Fallout is like my favorite. You're not what I'm. I think that's a 5%er right there as well, so that hurts. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna go. We'll get it later. I love Fallout games and I just want them to be good. That's all I care about. Like Fallout 76 was is a fucking disaster. <laughs> like it is horrible and the greed from Bethesda is not making it any better. But the idea of a multiplayer Fallout game is actually really good. And I genuinely hope for the sake of the people who did buy the game at launch and everything that the game does eventually become good. It becomes less fucking greedy. I just don't see that happening. The game is still really incredibly buggy. So, I don't know. Well, see, my standards are basically if if a game is sh like unbearably shit at launch, then I don't care if it gets better later on. Especially if there's a lot of greed involved, I'll never buy it. Fallout 76 could be the best Fallout game in history in a year from now, and I still would not buy it because I refuse to pay into their greed. You know. Shut up, Team Yell. There's a Zigazagoon. I love Galarian Zigzagoon, by the way. It's so cute. It is freaking adorable. It's also freaking dead as heck. Yep. <laughs> Very much so. Default. Yeah, I, I mean, I actually technically own Fallout 76 because I bought... Fallout 76 at launch was such a disaster that nobody bought them. So I have like a Fallout 76 copy for free laying around somewhere. Because I bought other games in my game store and the game store was like, please, please just take it. Take it for free. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. I'd have to like dig it up, but I do technically own Fallout 76 because they just gave it to me for free. And yeah, Bethesda is uh, being real greedy. It's not not good. Sableye. <laughs> Mega Sableye is awesome. Damn, he lived! Skyrim for Switch was the only good thing in the past few years, and Sky and it's freaking Skyrim. I mean, you know. The game that has been released like 15 times by now. Why are you disabling the one move I can use on you? Absolute jerk face. <sighs> I 
I don't know. It's like a fucking meme at this point that there's uh <laughs> there's a uh, Skyrim game on every single console you can imagine. To be fair, I would play Fallout, uh, Fallout New Vegas on the Switch as well. I freaking love Fallout, uh, Fallout New Vegas. I recently got my wife to play Fallout New Vegas, which was fantastic. She's never played it before. The only Fallout game she's played is Fallout 3, which I don't think is that good, but I mean, I get why people think it is. I just really love New Vegas. It's so good, and the the DLC for it are amazing. The only DLC for Fallout New Vegas that isn't like top tier is uh, Honest Hearts. That one's kind of meh at times. Yes, yes. Give me the road home. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, New Vegas is really good. I can definitely see why people like 3, but I like the open-endedness of uh, New Vegas. Now is where the fun begins, by the way. I intentionally made sure that Hop would get the Fire-type starter. So... <laughs> and in case you were somehow not aware, Buck types are all weak to fire. <laughs> so it's pretty. It is, uh... I had to clutch out the victory last time by uh, accuracy hacking him. I just kept mud slapping him until his accuracy was low enough that he couldn't hit me. <laughs> There is a bug water type in this game though, so it will get a bit easier eventually. Raboot. Let's see how many of uh, my buggies die. <sighs> Come on, accuracy axe. Oh god, he's faster than me. Yeah, you can complete New Vegas in any way you want. It's very roleplay heavy, essentially. Like, that's the thing with New Vegas. You can really get into your character. Because you have so many choices on how to um, beat uh, quests. Like, nearly every quest has multiple ways to finish it. And then you have the four different paths to actually beat the game. It's pretty cool. Okay, he is not using his powerful move on me, and I am very happy about that. I'll just keep accuracy hacking you into infinity. Who needs accuracy anyway? I'm not sure his accuracy can go much lower. <laughs> oh, is he finally using his uh, flame wheel or whatever? Flame charge? There you go. Oh, the dodge! <laughs> Whew. Okay, I think that's six. I don't think he can go lower than that. So let's try and uh, take him. Let's see if I can somehow kill him. He's gonna miss, like, Almost every attack at this point. <sighs> please die, please die, please die. <laughs> well... Well... Mm. That's, that's, that's a minor problem right there. Um, 
Sonic 06, you're really tanky. You can do this. You could do it. <laughs> I believe in you. This is <laughs> intentional hard mode. Honestly, he, he could probably sweep my entire team just with his reboot. If he was actually, like, doing the smart moves and stuff. Like, there is no doubt in my mind he could just fucking sweep my entire team. Hell yeah. Especially because he also has fucking Corviknight. That's Corvus Squire right now, but... He basically has a fire type, which is really good against bug, and he has a, f a flying type, which is also really good against bug. <laughs> Thank you for following. You wanna go and build a good battle tower team? Ah, I would not know. I did not really go into post game at all. Basically, the second I um. Oh god, please no. <laughs> yeah, the second I beat the base game on stream, I just started streaming it. Or, um... Started just challenge run. Oh, thank you, RNG. He'll be neutral against Zelda. That's a start. And Zelda's fast as fuck, boy. So. Oh, he hit himself twice. Oh, thank you, Gaben. Thank you, RN Jesus. Thank you for this blessing. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Yeah, Hop's team is actually really fucking scary in this situation. Yep, next up is Nessa, which I will hopefully wreck. I will grind until I get a electric type move. I'm also gonna do a couple um, raids in a second just to get some Pokemon up to level a little bit. Is the only rule blackout is dead? Um Basically I could just I could revive my Pokemon if I want to. I could just only use bug types and I cannot so much as catch other types of Pokemon. Is the rule I've set for myself? Cause this is my second time playing through it. I'm not doing like uh Nuzlocke rules or anything yet. The next the next challenge run will be because at that point I feel like I've acquainted myself with the game enough. But for this one it's just I can only use bug Pokemon. That's pretty much it. I can only use and catch bug Pokemon. In the next challenge run after this, there will be Nuzlocke rules, yes, though, so yes, uh, Blackout equals dead in that case. Just not right now. I'm not quite confident enough yet, you know? This is uh, the starter challenge run. <laughs> it's not that hard. Well, I mean, it's hard. It's definitely a challenge because bug types are really weak. But I will say, keep ramping up the challenge regularly. Let's put it that way. Every challenge run of this game will become more and more and more difficult. That's the plan anyway. Because that's fun. I like making things hard for myself. Hey, Wubat. Please don't... Okay, thank you. I was going to say, please don't have a flying type move. 
and you did not. Honestly, Grubbin was the MVP for this challenge run at the start, though. The fact that Grubbin starts with Fice Grip, which is a 55 power more normal type move, is so amazing. <laughs> Because the only other thing I had for... Um, at the start of the game, you can catch three bug Pokemon. Grubbin, which is a 5% um, Caterpie and whatever Sonic 06's previous was. Blip bug, I think. And uh, yeah, they, ha they only have Struggle Bug, which is 20 power. Which would have made it really hard to grind. <laughs> So yeah, I'm very uh, fortunate in that sense. That I got that grub in early, because that 55 power really helped me out. Crow gunk. That is a gunky boy. Such gunk, much wow. Eh. <coughs> Sorry. Probably bring out my Sonic 06 for this. That's the wrong button. That's the most off putting thing for me when it comes to consoles. Because the button for, you know, confirm is to the right on the Switch, the uh, A button. And on the PlayStation, it's the X button, which is on the bottom. So I keep like pressing the wrong buttons every time. Astonishing me. Gosh, you're so impressive. <laughs> How about that for astonishing? There we go. Damn, though, Sonic 06 is really fucking tanky, actually. Like, those are some good defense stats along with HP. It's actually very impressive. I guess Sonic 06 is going to be my uh, brick wall Pokemon. Reach Hulbury. Now let's heal up. And before we go fight Nessa, I am going to do a quick grind and get some uh, watts. And see uh, how I fare. Check the Watt Traders for what they have. Yes, yes, rare Pokemon. Rare Pokemon I cannot catch. <laughs> um, I don't think I can cross this bridge yet. I will check in a second though. Because I'm going to be there anyway. Oh my god, hold on. One sec.
Really sorry about that. not expecting that phone call so early. Oh well. What trader? That's you. Spend my watts. Low uh, I thought your inventory is supposed to reset every time. What are you doing, lad? I'm glad it's fine. I don't know. I usually, uh, I just dislike when I get interrupted during streams, you know? Did their inventory not change? No, it's still the same one. Still identical. Hey, Snorlax. <gasps> that looks like a bug to me. A Rebombi? That is really adorable. I don't think I can catch it though. <laughs> no, the the answer is no. Oh God, please don't kill me. Oh boy. See, you say they change daily, but I checked it yesterday and it's the exact same inventory it had yesterday. So. I mean, I'm not doubting you or anything, it's just like, oh, did I get unlucky? Can they change into the same inventory again? Is that, is that a thing that can happen? You would doubt Bulbapedia? Of course you would. You're normal flying, aren't you? Yeah, you're all normal flying. Might be a Skyrim job, maybe. You think Zelda can take on this raid? Stamage would be neutral against Zelda, right? Yeah, because she's a bug flying. I think Zelda can take it. Flying doesn't resist flying? Oh, well, I guess she cannot take it then. Why does the same type not resist the same type? What kind of logic is that? Just gonna get my ass beat then. <laughs> I really need to find a bug Pokemon that resists flying. Okay, which one is stronger? 90, 90. Oh, it doesn't matter in this case. Flying is meant to be normal just for flying months. Ah, I see. You know, I sound like such a noob. I've played like literally every single Pokemon game and beat them. And I'm still like, oh wait, this doesn't work. <laughs> Alright. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm just gonna get carried. That's fine. Mechanics do change from then, gen to gen, you are right. Do not kill. Hell yeah. Did not kill. a very smart streamer, Siggy. Sounds like me. No, I'm not gonna catch it. Fuck off. Get away from me. You're not a bug type. Why would I ever catch you? Imagine catching a Pokemon that isn't a bug type. What kind of fucking nerd would do such a thing? Honestly? Yeah, I see. But yeah, uh, <laughs> pretty much all of the raids I have access to are all normal flying. P 
pretty much all of them. Oh, look, it's another normal flying. <laughs> Should I just use Fallout 76 then? What does flying weak do, actually? Do I have any rock electric ice? I mean, I do have an electric type, but that's... It doesn't actually have an electric type move yet. I don't- oh, sorry about that. That was probably really loud on stream. Should I just use Fallout 76? Yep, that is pretty much this challenge run so far. I just wish uh, Fallout 76 had an actual electric type move yet. That would be very nice. Mm. Does flying resist bug? Probably, right? I would have to assume. Yeah, okay. So no stab for me. I'll just use which one has more damage. 110, 90, 110. Just use max strike. Real Fallout 76 is waiting for you to be open. Yeah. It's a giant bus. Look at it. Oh my gosh, look at it. <laughs> that is amazing. Damn, alright. Jess Hitney, can you, can you be nice and look up for me um, when Charge a Bus learns, learns its first electric type move? Because I will just boost it up to that level so I can use it against Nessa. That's the entire reason I'm doing these raids. So I can get that electric type move going. So that'll be very useful against Nessa. <laughs> Sixteen? I mean, that can confirm that is not the case. Because I don't have spark. <laughs> twenty-three. Okay, I might be able to just boost it to twenty-three with the candies I have right now. Let's see. I can always rare candy it, but I don't wanna. Yep, there we go. Spark. Spark at 23. 65 damage. Very nice. Bye, Mud Slap. You will be missed. Oh, Sun and Moon. Yeah. They changed a lot of stuff in uh, Sword and Shield. 